My friend Jenny just pulled out my fancy 68 Roadrunner out of the shop. And ding dang if it don't look good. Even the Tinker Puppies are happy to see it finally out of the shop. Hey, welcome back to Pappy Tinkers. And look at that beauty we got for you today. Wow, that is gorgeous. It didn't start out that way, though. It took a lot of sanding and a couple trips back and forth to the body shop for me to get it right. First time I tried to put an orange base coat of the craft paint on, didn't turn out so well. So while that was drying, I moved on over to the engine and started working on that. Started detailing it with some fuel lines, a handmade distributor, made out of brass rod. And I'll have to make a video of how to do that. Kind of fake linkages, but I knew some of it was going to be covered up. Most of it was going to be covered up by that big old air breather. So when that was done, we went back out to the body shop. And as you can see, more dirt, more gunk in the paint. So instead I went back and tried to finish up the frame and do some detailing on that. Tried to get everything painted that I could paint up, some brake lines and stuff. I also decided with a beast like this it didn't need the stock exhaust, it needed some, some cherry bombs. Yeah, cherry bombs. We like our cherry bombs. Just some aluminum tubing that was put together and that turned out pretty good. So about by that time I'm starting to make my third trip out to the body shop with this beast. And as you can see it started going right for me this time. We laid down the orange base and then a couple coats of uh, Tangerine Pearl by Createx. And then I put it some Lemon Pearl on top. And when it was time for the clear, I took it out in the sun and oh my gosh, it just glowed. This needs a color name all, all for itself. It looks amazing out in the sun. Well, it's finally ready for its debut. My 68 Roadrunner from AMT. Hi, welcome back to Peppy Tinkers. Check out this beauty that's been about a year in the making. It's painted with a candy orange that just with a coat of lemon pearl on top that just absolutely blings in the sun. Sadly, we've got a partly cloudy day, so you'll see it shimmer and shift and adjust as the sun peeks in and goes out, out around the clouds. We've got Iceman Collections, Spider Steelies on top with his BF good, good Riches. Let's try that again. We've got the Iceman Collections wheels on it. The Spider Steelies with BF Goodrich hand lettered tires on it. That they turned out just amazing. Far better than what the kit wheels were supplied with. I tinted the windows on it, jacked it up a little bit in the back, just for scale. I don't know if you can see the valve stems on the tires. We'll get a close-up on that on, in just a minute. But I just love how this thing sparkles in the sun. I mean, it, it like almost glows. 
I've been waiting for the best sunny day and but sadly we're in the rainy weather down here and I wanted to get this video shot before the tinker dogs got to it so let's take a look here and see what else we got going on we painted underneath and I got rid of the stock mufflers and I made some like cherry bomb type mufflers from aluminum tubing we painted up the shocks and the stuff underneath it could probably use a little touch-up or so, but I'm happy with it. Let's see if we get a close-up of the wheels and the valve covers or tire stems. Here's a close-up of the Iceman Collections spider wheels. I painted them with uh, Vallejo Air magnesium I believe I added a little valve stem to it to be hand lettered BF Goodrich radials they are proud enough from the from his um, from his molds that you can actually paint the letters you do need a steady hand and it might take more than one try but you can do it Underneath the hood you see the wired and plumbed 326 Hemi and there's brake lines coming from the master cylinder radiator hoses and all that good stuff I didn't glue the Breather on because the hood is just a little shy from closing the way it should with it on there and I trimmed down the tops of the carburetors a little bit but it's still not quite enough to make it so that I'll leave it on there. I don't know if it's me or if others have this problem, but half the time it seems like the kit supplied air cleaners and filters don't fit like they should. It's very close with the breather on it, but not enough that makes me happy. So let me know out there, guys. Is it me? Did anybody else have the same problem? Sun is trying to pop out to get a better view from the top. When it spins around and that sun shining on it, it's almost like an orange laser going down the side. Oh yeah, here it comes. Like I said, it just glows in that sunlight. I don't know how I'm going to get it display shelf to do that same thing for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if you like this and you like some of the other some of my other builds, check back with me and find out what's going on on in Peppy Tinker's workshop. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you soon on Peppy Tinkers.